I am here discussing uh, the effect of alum sefer, and that is commonly known as onions, on blood sugar level as well as blood cholesterol level. The idea actually originated from the fact that uh, back in Africa, Nigeria specifically where I am from, and to narrow it down to Delta State where I work and operate, we do have challenges of uh, diabetes, okay? You would expect that uh, with the increase in the knowledge about the causes, the etiology of diabetes, as well as the new drugs that are being manufactured, you will expect that you will achieve, we'll be talking about reduction in the number of persons that are suffering from diabetes. But the reverse is the case. We are actually noticing an increase in the population of individuals that are coming down with the disease. And we have, like I said back home, the challenge of power to be able to store things like insulin because it requires cool storage. And then the other drugs, oral drugs like metformin, that you do not require any kind of cool storages, have to be taken over a long time, all right? And they are not exactly cheap. Okay, so this affects the compliability of patients to, you know, the use of these medications. So even when they come to you and you have prescribed drugs for them, now you have the challenge of will they comply with the treatment? Because if compliability is a problem, then you are not going to achieve the goal. My findings showed that after a period of about four weeks administration, which was what we did, using the crude extract of the alum sefer, that we were able to achieve a reduction in blood glucose level, as well as blood cholesterol level in an originally, all right, high induced level of blood glucose in animal model. Actually, we use the, the Wister rat model. For treatment options, uh, it would suggest or imply that if uh, clinically verified, it would definitely come as either an alternative or a supportive treatment to already existing medications that are used to reduce high blood sugar level as well as high blood cholesterol levels. It is important because, uh, like I said, I believe that the goal of every medical practitioner is to see your patient get well, all right? So whatever works, all right? And like I said before, we are thinking along the line of what is affordable because you have a, low, a whole lot of people under the poverty line, okay? So it won't be useful to you as a doctor to prescribe a medication and then your patient cannot afford it, all right? You will not be helping them much. And then you're also looking at something that is acceptable to them. For instance, some people are still not very comfortable with injectables. All right? Even if it is affordable to them, they're still not comfortable with it. All right? So that also could affect their usage of the drug. And then you are not solving any problem still. So you're right. We have a different way of looking at things back in Africa. Different, uh, all right? So we are also using that as a propelling force to meet the need of the people.